Shocking! How did Jamaica's women's 4x100 meter relay team lose an almost certain gold medal to the USA? Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go in and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, are you ready? Yep, good to go. Well, shockingly the the team that sweeped the women's 100 meters sharika jackson shelly and fraser price and elaine tom sahara alongside kemba nelson lost the almost guaranteed gold medal in the women's 4x100 meter relay team moments ago in the usa winning a silver medal and running the fourth fastest women's 4x100 meters what well, watch and see. The American anchor leg runner Twanisha Terry, also known as TT Terry, managed to hold off a fast closing Sharika Jackson, who honestly ran an absolutely mind bendingly brilliant 100 meter final leg. If she had had literally half of a meter more, we would have won that goal, but it was not to be. The United States won in a time of 41.14, with Jamaica, Jamaica coming second with 41.18. In the third position was a fast closing Germany who ran 42.03 to take that bronze medal. Now, earlier in the day, now in the heats earlier today, it was the quartet of Brianna Williams to Natalia White to Ramona Burchell and to Kemba Nelson who got us through to the finals. Jamaica qualified, running second to Great Britain in a time of 42.37 seconds. Now, look, I can't really be mad at these ladies. How can you be? They're so amazing. And the truth is, silver medal is still a great medal to hold. But we were pretty much guaranteed a gold medal, people, and possibly a world record. So how did this happen? How did this come to be? Now, this, of course, is just my two cents. And you know what, people? I'm just a fanatic, a fan, a person who absolutely loves Jamaican track and field and absolutely love and support our athletes a thousand percent. So as I said, I believe our ladies did well, but we pretty much gave away a guaranteed gold medal. And I don't believe that was totally the fault of the athletes. First up, why did they remove Brianna Williams? Brianna Williams ran the fastest time in the heats and they she had ran the gold medal winning team in Tokyo 2020 and they had natural chemistry. So why remove her from running the opening leg? Secondarily, to continue on that point, Kemba Nelson is a remarkable athlete who you know that we absolutely love here at Peter Lloyd World. But I am assuming that if Kemba Ness has been running since the beginning of January and running all those races, she at this point, she must be tired. Plus, remember, she went through those two rounds. 
So I thought the best decision, coaching decision, would have been to use A, the fresher legs, Brianna Williams, B, the more experienced legs running the relay team with this relay team, meaning the team of Brianna to Elaine to Shelly to Sharika. It's a proven formula and my father used to say, if it's not broke, you don't fix it. Or let me break it down. If it ain't broke, you don't fix it. So why would you remove her and replace her with Kemba? I admit, Kemba Nelson is the faster athlete. Um, 10.88 to 10.94 but one athlete is absolutely fresh and has the fresh legs and is the fourth fastest woman running out of jamaica so i believe that was the first error brianna williams should have ran that opening leg she is known to getting out of those blocks lightning fast and she already has a chemistry with the team now i understand why they would have wanted to give kemba that experience but like i said i believe logistically she was tired um secondarily you will see in an up you saw earlier in the video that the pass between elaine and kemba was terrible which leads me to the second point why place the two slowest athletes in terms of this season people just this season i'm not knocking the great elaine thompson Hera, who you know we support and love here but you cannot put kemba and elaine to run your first and second legs they're your two slowest athletes it makes no sense so by the time you get to the third leg which um shelly and fraser price ran a scorching third leg i soon give you the stats even shelly and fraser price could not have made up um the deficit between themselves and the united states team who came not they, they, they what, what jamaican people say them, they, they them come for, for drink milk they never come for count cow <laughs> sorry guys i have to laugh i want to cry so i have to laugh so why would you put ta tactically your two slowest athletes at least put a brian and then put a shelly put elaine on your third and then sharika jackson i guarantee you would have broken the world record with that setup so that was the other decision made so brianna should have been the person and not the great queen kemba kemba i just believe is a little exhausted secondarily you don't put your two slowest people at the very beginning of the race you at least put one of your fastest persons there all right three brianna should have uh brianna's legs were fresh so use the fresher legs and there's already that existing chemistry now four the baton changes were horrific they were horrific um go back to the beginning and i i left a little clip where you saw kemba changing to elaine and elaine literally almost had to stop running so that she could get that baton and most of the changes were terrible um look Sherika Jackson just ran one of the greatest legs in the history of track and field. Imagine if she had gotten that baton just 0 0.02 of a second earlier. Come on, guys. Come on. I mean, I don't mean to rant. Like I said, I am grateful. But to know that we gave away that medal for those obvious reasons. Now, of course, this is just my two cents. Um, you can tell me if you agree with me. If you tell, tell me I'm just blowing smoke but, but i really think that we should have won that gold medal we literally handed that to the usa literally gave it to them anyway congratulations lady love you all still love you i just believe that a few bad coaching decisions were made and obviously y'all didn't practice as much as you did plus as i said why not stick to the thing that works brianna Sh elaine shelly sharika anyway that's just my two cents don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave your comments. Remember, you are glorious kings and queens, winners. Bless up.